Hi, this is Deb Sinkis, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to Sierra Flow and start with the research tracker. So the research tracker is the very first board in the process of Sierra Flow. It's the first thing that you do is conversion rate optimization research. So this uh, custom board view is a custom board template that we have designed specifically for research. And the way it works is that each item is a type of research. So for example, you might be doing uh, analytics on a product page, or you might be doing mobile menu analytics testing, or maybe you are looking at uh, a funnel or a heat map. You're doing some sort of investigation to see what can you find, what's wrong, what maybe can we fix or improve, what lends itself to A-B testing for site improvements. And underneath each research, what you do is you notate your observations. What exactly did you notice when you did this research? What did you notice? And observations are sub items. And that allows us to have individual leads and we can make notes about the different things, maybe mark that we found different things on desktop that we did mobile, that sort of thing. And so it gives us plenty of room to be able to keep track of related tasks and other things and keep track of separate work related to what did we observe. And in some cases, when you're doing this, you might end up with something or you have 10, 15 observations from one research type. So it can be uh, quite a bit of information to keep straight. And this gives us a granularity to be able to do that. We love sub items. They've been super helpful on Monday. Just awesome. One of the things I wanted to show you is there are a couple of columns that are important. You'll see them throughout Zero Flow a lot. One of them is what type of research kind of fostered this idea, what happened. Um, and so we have different ones, you know, scroll maps, surveys, visual analytics, funnel analytics, stuff like that. And then page type. Page type is important because you want to keep track of where are you spending your effort and your time and where are you maybe seeing the best gains. So by classifying everything with some sort of page type you know, category of, is it a product page? Is it a webinar page, etc. This is going to give you that ability to measure all the way through. So you'll see page type is a column that's on pretty much every single board of zero flow so that you can kind of roll all that information up together. And we have vision uh, in the future for some pretty robust reporting capabilities out of this. And by marking things with page type, you're going to set yourself up for some really good success there. Now, you'll notice that there's a small area at the top of the board. Um, this is kind of uh, the gamification area over here on the right where we have a little bit of a leaderboard and we get to see whether or not, um, you know, how people have done over the last 30 days, the last week, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this board up uh, for the settings. I'm going to open it up to full screen so we can look at the settings together. So there's only a few settings here. One is we have to tell... Um, Zero Flows Research Tracker, where do you want me to send the ideas when I promote observations and say, hey, what we noticed was important enough. We think we should probably evaluate this and possibly test it with an A-B test. We have some ideas for improvement. So as you may have noticed on some of the overview videos, we support two different prioritization methods right now. One is called PXL. It is based on the CXL Institute's uh, industry-leading methodology for objectively measuring and prioritizing ideas. And we also support PI. It's a very popular methodology as well. So you can use either one, but in this case, you have to tell the research tracker, here's where my ideas live. Here's where things connect. And then the leaderboard, you can change a few things here with the time period. You can say, I want to see the last seven days of activity or whatever. And active research is pretty much what it sounds like, just how much has been active on the board versus how many new observations have we made. Now, observations are really the learning, right? So if you're seeing a lot of active research and very few observations, that might mean that your team isn't pausing long enough to really digest what they're seeing and to actually sit down and brainstorm on what, what are we observing. So you'll notice there's a leaderboard and you can do it by new observations. So apparently Tom did all of these, right? Um, you could do new research. So these are people who have generated some sort of new research, or you can do by activity and that's, you know, making updates and changing things, or whatever this pulled from the activity log. So you can see who's in the leaderboard position in whatever way makes the most sense for your team, whatever you want to kind of call attention to. And then the create new idea button 
is the way that you can take a couple of observations. Actually, you can take as many as you like, but most people are generally going to group two or three or four observations together and say, hey, we're seeing this across the website. Maybe we're seeing, for example, scroll problems on multiple pages. We're going to take a couple of observations we've seen and we're going to pull them together as supporting information for we have an idea that we want to do that we think is going to positively affect scroll. So create new idea is a streamlined way to, to create the idea over on the idea tracker with very few distractions, like there's no extra stuff on the, on the modal that you don't need. There's no extra stuff in the view that you don't need. And um, we also give you the ability, if you're ready, to go ahead and prioritize it or to not. Like, you have your choice. Uh, so let's look at this. So in this case, I want to, let me close this so we have a little more room. Select one or more observations. So I can choose, these are sub-items on the board. I can choose any combination of sub items. It does not matter whether they are in different parent items. We don't care. We can, we can mix whichever ones we want. And of course you can search, which would be very important. So I want to, I'm going to take these two. They are in different parent items, but uh, they're different, they're different sub items inside of completed research. And now I'm going to give my demo idea, oops, idea a name. And we're not going to set all of these, but I can tell you that, you know, you can choose a lead. You can give it a review by, which is like a due date. Um, we use the terminology review by. You can certainly change it to whatever works for you. This is source. We talked about that a few minutes ago. Did it come from like form analytics or whatever? What page type is it? Uh, let's make sure we say, well, we're called a product page for now. And let's say that it's only happening on mobile. So we just have this demo of an idea, uh, demo idea name. Right. And, uh, oh, what the heck? Let's, let's assign this to Tom. He does a lot on this board, right? So these are the two observations that I'm going to link to this new idea on the idea board. And like I said, I can choose at this point to just say save and it'll just create it on the idea board and it'll cross link it automatically for me back to the research board. Or if I feel ready, I can at least go answer some of the prioritization. So I can say prioritize this idea. And then I get the questions from the PXL uh, version because that's the one I'm using. Um, I get the questions from the PXL version and then I can choose which way to, to answer these. So maybe I might say, well, yeah, this is a real high traffic page. And maybe I might say, yep, we saw it in analytics. And I think though that it might be very hard. Maybe that's all I wanna answer for right now. Maybe I just don't really feel comfortable that I have the rest of the information. Uh, but for now, I'm going to answer those. And then there's my, there's my name, right? So I'm going to close that. So now I'm going to go over on the idea, idea tracker. And there it is, of course. It's been created over there. That's pretty easy, right? But here's the beautiful thing. Related observations. It's been linked back to both observations that roll up to different parents automatically for me. I didn't have to do anything. And we are using the latest um, cross-linking columns that Monday has recently released. Two direction links is I think the way they, they called it on the community. So that is a research tracker. The very next video you should watch in the series is the idea tracker, particularly because in that one, I will talk about the differences between the two prioritization methods and how they work with the idea cards, which is the most exciting part of the system.